Yo, what's up guys? It's Talon. Today, I'm going to be answering the question, should you play in the early season? Should you grind? Should you play a lot? All those types of things, because I do get this question rather frequently in my streams about if it's even, you know, if there's even a reason to play in the early season. And so I'm just going to kind of talk about that. So starting off with some of the negatives, early season has a lot of trolls. The reason that there are a lot of trolls in the early season is because one, people don't care yet because the season just started, so they're just having fun. And two, the ranks are very condensed. So if you're a Sovereign player, you reset to Diamond 4. If you're like a Master player, you reset to like Emerald 3. And Emerald 3s can easily match against Diamonds. And even then, those Emerald 3s from Master can match against Plats, who maybe literally finished last season like Emerald. So you, you could have anywhere from an Emerald peak really to like a Sovereign peak in the same game. And it could just be you know, very messy, very kind of low quality games because of the big skill discrepancies. And so in terms of trying to really focus on climbing or being overly concerned with your win rate, I wouldn't really do that. Um, I have had this feeling before. I've had seasons where I start off playing over 100 games really quickly and I have like a 40 or 50% win rate, maybe 55, depending on the season, right? And in those seasons, I'll watch my friends and I'll see some of my friends and they'll be like 75% win rate, top five on the server or they'll be you know doing really good generally speaking and having really good early seasons and sometimes these people who have really good early seasons i feel like i'm you know better than them oftentimes and then you go later into the season and i play as many games as them and i end up climbing significantly higher than them quite frequently and this type of thing happens pretty frequently now this early season i have nearly 60 percent win rate i've ended up getting better games but kind of the point is that it's very it, it's varied quite a lot there's a lot of variance in the early season and you shouldn't over focus on your win rate or you know if you have a bad start obviously it's going to be really annoying to play a lot of annoying games with bad teammates but like in terms of does it actually matter not really there's there's not a whole lot of uh, correlation between climbing early season and climbing later on generally speaking I would utilize the early season in a different way. So in terms of should you play, if you really don't want to deal with low quality games and you don't want to deal with frustrating tilting games where sometimes people are trolling or there's a really big convolution of ranks, um, then I do understand. And I think it's reasonable to not want to play much. Uh, however, there is a lot of value to playing in the early season as well. And because we've kind of discussed how the games don't really matter as much in terms of your overall climb in the long run, that also means that you can use the games in other ways that are valuable. For example, maybe you wanted to learn a new champion, but you're the type of person uh, like myself who kind of gets really frustrated when you can't carry games on a champion right away. And so you don't like learning new champions because you feel like you lose. Even if you want to learn a new champ, it's really hard to do. And I, I feel that. And so the early season is the best time to do that. For example, my most played champion so far this season is Renekton. Now I've played some Renekton, but I'm not, not nearly as good on Renekton as I am on Jace or Vi or Thresh or whatever. And so I've kind of used the early season to really get better at that champ so that I can fit him into my champion pool near the end of the season. And that's kind of the really, the one champ I'm trying to develop into my champion pool. So every season I'll frequently have, you say one or two champs that I do try to incorporate into the champ pool and focusing on for the first couple of weeks, just playing those champs and getting better at them, uh, limit testing on them and just not valuing the result as heavily can be super valuable. And so, Again, it's more about how you want to utilize your early season more than whether or not you should or shouldn't play. So if you, again, have those types of champs you want to learn or something, then I would recommend this as a great time to start learning them. Uh, it also just gives you good practice because of the fact that, yes, there's the negative that you might you know, be a high elo player and you get low elo players for your team, but there's the opposite. If you're a master player, diamond peak player, grandmaster, whatever, take advantage of the early season as a time to play against better players i mean i've literally had people in my games they're like oh my god i'm playing with talon like they're like surprised because obviously their peak rank might be master or they might be lower but because of the early season you're kind of able to play with people you might not normally play against or with and you can learn a lot from those games so try to pay attention to the enemy um maybe you you're a top laner and say you lane against someone and they just destroy you because you're just like wow i have not played against someone of that skill before well, then you can rewatch that game because, you know, maybe it was a Sovereign or, or a Challenger player and take advantage of the fact that you get to play against a higher level player and really learn a lot from that. So it can give you a lot of value in terms of learning and improving as well. You can build your champion pool, as we spoke about, as spoke about, and there is not many consequences to losing or to having a bad early season. But obviously, it can be very frustrating, which, of course, is very understandable as well. And then something to mention when you are playing with player or, or against players who you view as better than you, don't play super scared into them. 
make sure you play the way you would normally play because then you can learn how to change after you you know get destroyed or you lose the lane or whatever because i would for example find myself playing against players better than myself like starting or lamont or whatever and when i lane into them and i try to play you know just to not die to let my team win whatever and just hope i get carried usually i don't learn anything but it's been the times where i end up trying to kill them and trying to outplay them where sometimes i do outplay them and oftentimes i get destroyed by them and then i'm able to actually figure out what it is that i did wrong i'm able to be like oh i can't kill there that's how this champion works normally i don't get punished by that usually i can just solo kill this champion in this lane because they don't play as well but when i'm playing against a really good player i can learn new champion limits and these types of things and so do not be scared to actually truly try to play properly and play the way you normally would don't just be really scared and all that definitely try to take advantage again because the early season the games don't necessarily matter some additional benefits as well you do kind of get a head start on climbing if you play early season so you might not you know it might not matter that much in terms of climbing but obviously you still probably will get a bit higher than you would normally if you started later so you have a little bit of a head start it still does certainly help in there i'm not trying to say like it doesn't help you at all so that is a benefit as well to playing in the early season um but even if you do get high like say you get early season master or something um my friend trickster he's already hit master and he has 40 minute matchmaking right now when he queues up solo queue so he has to either play duo with a diamond or really hard for him to find games so again things like that early season you're gonna have long matchmaking if you get high really quickly and if you do get high really quickly as well uh, and you're you know in a skill level you don't normally play in you're probably gonna get hard stuck in an elo eventually so you would get to that elo later on in the season once you know the really high people ended up getting out of that elo anyway so it kind of doesn't matter as well just generally speaking i've already kind of explained why it's not super valuable um in terms of focusing on rank but again, the other things that you can learn from the early season would make me say that you would want to overall uh, try to play in the early season, a lot of for learning and stuff. Uh, additionally, if you like don't want to climb, um, it is easy to catch up early season, like we said. But if you play in the late season and you don't really play early on in the season, then you get stuck playing against people who are a lot worse than you, which it is easier to carry, but it also is more frustrating. You know, when you're, for example, playing... Say you're a diamond uh player skill level but you're playing in plat because you didn't really play early season well then you have to play with a bunch of plat players and that gets not only boring but sometimes really frustrating and even if you're a diamond skill level player and all of your uh, teammates and opponents are plat that's not like a big enough skill discrepancy where you're just going to be able to climb super smoothly you're still going to lose some of those games you're not just going to be able to 1v9 all of them and so you're you're gonna climb but it's gonna take a bit of time and be a bit frustrating which is why if you play early season you kind of keep up with the people of your skill level you know when the diamond peak players are climbing from say plat to emerald early season you go from plat to emerald kind of with them and you stay with sort of that skill of players so that is another thing you're kind of able to stay more around your own skill level instead of sometimes having to play against much worse players um so overall to kind of conclude this thing um in terms of the rank actually mattering uh it doesn't really matter whether you climb early season for going for a high rank you can definitely catch up later on in the season but it can be more frustrating to do so and you can learn a lot from playing in the early season so i would recommend you guys to try playing in the early season but if you get overly frustrated don't value your rank too high focus on building a champion pool getting better at the game and just enjoying the gameplay don't you know you don't need to spam games necessarily you can focus on really grinding later in the season but get some games in early on in the season to get used to the new changes and to understand your champions better and all of those types of things uh let me know your thoughts on this and let me know how your early season has been going as well i'm curious to see um how yours has gone i'm currently in diamond 2 at the moment doing decently well uh not insanely great games but still decent nearly a 60 percent win rate like i said early in the video and uh, yeah uh, if you guys are interested in coaching as well i do coaching for just 15 dollars an hour just dm me on discord talon1169 or through the link in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video